guys, welcome back to HGTV Handmade. I've been decorating my apartment for quite some time, but one area that I've definitely neglected is the patio. And since the weather is starting to cool down a bit, it is finally bearable to be outside in Texas, and so now I can finally enjoy my patio without melting. So today I'm going to show you how I created this patterned table without using stencils. For this project, you will need a table, spray paint in the color of your choice, painter's tape, and I use tape in two different sizes, and you'll also need something to measure with. Start by placing a strip of tape down the center of your table. I'm using the thinner tape for this. Next, decide what angle you'd like the herringbone pattern to have. This is just based on personal preference. There is no right and wrong, and I'm using the thicker tape for this. Now, all you have to do is measure a few inches down on each side. Use the same measurement each time so that each piece of tape is angled the same way. I left about two and a half inches between each piece of tape. You'll keep doing this all the way down and then repeat on the other side until the entire table is taped. Make sure to tape off any other pieces of the table that you don't want to paint. Now just spray paint. A few coats should do it. And once you have an opaque layer of paint, start to peel the tape away. This step is time sensitive. You don't wanna let the paint dry completely because when you pull the tape off, you run the risk of pulling paint off too. So be sure to work quickly. An optional step is to add a clear sealant to make the table waterproof. And since I'm putting my table outside, this is a necessary step. But you can choose what to do based on what your project is meant for. And now I'm going to reassemble my table and then I'm all done. I did this to two tables so that I could either have two separate side tables or push them together for a larger surface. And since the patterns line up, they fit together perfectly. My patio is slowly but surely coming together, and I have to thank my girl Meg for sending over some of her beautiful lace votives. I'm using these as lighting on the edge of the patio, and I think they look gorgeous, especially at night. So thank you so much, Meg, for those. And I wanna know from you guys, what are some of the ways that you've decorated your outdoor living spaces? I need all the help I can get. I certainly need to find some pretty patio chairs and maybe a plant or two, I don't know yet. Uh, let me know what you guys think in a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and as always I'll see you next Wednesday with a new video. Bye guys!